What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Turtle Let's Play as the United States. So to run off where we left off, we need to breach the lines um, in the northwestern uh, northwest of India. So this is what's this? This is Af Afghanistan region. We need to break open this northern flank and start knocking back some of these armies and the same to the south near Naroon. So in this instance, I can't even zoom back in now. <laughs> we are engaging these two armies here, which are both fortified, but they are both completely manageable because they look like they're almost exclusively melee infantry, except for a couple of, no, a single unit of armed peasantry here and a couple of armed peasants and a couple of musketeers in a reinforcing army. Me, I've got bucket loads of artillery. So let's attack. Because right now some of our on the mainland are getting a bit swamped with increased pressure on all fronts if, that no, none of our pockets gets overwhelmed. We need to keep... Like, we can't just keep funneling troops into one small area. I mean, this isn't D-Day. This is... it's not easy. It is important that we keep driving at them from every possible way. And this is an abysmal map for foot artillery. Largely. So some might be useful here. Okay, let's do sepoy guard, sepoy, well, native African infantry guard, native African infantry guard. So let's deploy. Okay, well, this is going to be a bit of funky deployment going on. Because it's because it's not strictly 100% deployable. It's on my center. The left flank are going to be a bunch of infantry and some minutemen. And my right flank is going to be actually that's quite small. So I might deploy all my cavalry on this flank. To support. So are they? Con the fourth contented light dragoons, second contented light dragoons, and just the eleventh regiment light dragoons, which all look rather spiffy. I think. Let's make sure. Turn off fire at will. Because scouts and African infantry guards are not very many troops to guard one flank. So much so, I think I might steal a unit of line infantry to balance it out. Awesome. So it's deploying the death defilade. The quick climb on. And let's get ready to... Okay, let's deploy... Deploy our infantry. Ooh, I heard sh shrapnel shot come in, I think. hit by shrapnel shot. I think it was. The reinforcements coming in from the left. To be honest, I'm... Oh, God, you got here as well. Okay, right. So we need to... Oh, God! We need to advance. Advance! Advance! Advance into the face of the, sh the quick line. Cavalry being wary of the nomads. But we have dragoons. Okay, they're, they're pushing up on us now. So we need to be smart about this. Some of you, I'm afraid, muckers, are going to get shot to hell. I might even need to end up bringing in a reinforcing army. Yeah. 
pikes and artillery and dervishes are routing. Okay, get ready for this corner unit to have to form to form a square. Camels are focusing in the centre. Gurkhas are falling back. Some swordsmen are going to make it. Get all of them are hitting hitting the Pindari horsemen. Or my, how, my, my quick climbing howitzers anyway. Okay, the centre is falling. Covering to the dervishes, move them up onto the hill on the right. So here, th this part is very vulnerable. The Minutemen have got absolutely smashed. We're going to have to give up the Minutemen. Unlimber the artillery. Take the hill where the cavalry, where the artillery is residing. Effectively just pivot our entire front line. Is limbered up. Good. Get the hell out of there. My howitzers can continue firing. Foot artillery on the hill. Engage the centre. Let's bring another cavalry unit in to help my dragoons because they're looking very vulnerable. Doing about turn. See, these, are, these are Gurkhas and they're not slouches. It's the enemy general killed. Redo this being over. Good. Bring my dragoons to help out the other flank. You need to engage the Gurkhas. You need to engage here. You need to get in. You need to flank around. Cavalry hates camels, but we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go with it. You engage the there. Ooh, precision quick lime shooting. Oh, frame rate, frame rate freeze a minute. Good god alive. Go after their general. No. Oh no, I thought that was another general dead. Charge the dervishes in the rear. Dragoons charge their dragoons. These guys charge straight through. Oh, okay. So I'm getting some reinforcements in. Let's immediately deploy their cavalry to work. Charge on. Don't let them have a chance to reform. Let's get my infantry to go support the Gurkhas. That's very bad. Quick line firing. Just hold, hold fire for now. If you don't hold fire, go off the armed peasantry over there. Scouts engage the camels. Good. 
chase down the Gurkhas if possible. I think here come their reinforcements. So we are limited somewhat. Okay, let's get my artillery up here. General's bodyguard fall back. All my infantry fall back. Scouts fall back. Regiment of Dragoons continue to chase down their infantry. Okay, my, my African guards come back, take up position with the scouts to form my line. General's bodyguard chase down their infantry. Quicklime's doing a grand old job. Still chasing on the Gurkhas, good stuff. You kill this unit of Islamic swordsmen. Chase down the dervishes. Oh, you should have killed this gun crew. Good, hit them. So what's coming in? More cavalry. By the looks of it. Horse grain. Oh, cuirassiers, they're not they're not they're no slouches. To be honest, these guys may as well continue to chase down them, and the same with this weak unit, they may as well continue to chase down as much cavalry as they can. Because as is, they'll pro they're providing, they'll provide a limited benefit. You can retreat, actually, Sipoy unit. 48 infantry is not much use to us. Let's unlimber these guns. Yep, these guys are going to be hit by the Bajia Lancers, but that's fine. Because it... worst comes to the worst, we'll engage them with our cavalry. Folks fire that you know, peasantry. So they still have to get some good friendly fire onto them. Okay, what should we... Okay, come back here, ready to take out this foot artillery unit. That thinks it's going to come back. I think they're going to go after my general. Good, let's retarget our fire against the Bajia Lancers because they're going to be what? Gone into diamonds specifically to try and hit our line. Put artillery against this one against the lancers, you guys against the infantry coming our way. You guys can deploy stakes, but there's probably not much point in you doing that. rely on a massive firepower and artillery helping us. Another unit of cavalry, Kyosiers. It's a Kyosiers are still useful, they're good cavalry. Especially when all our cavalry is routing. You chase down the Gurkhas, good. Okay, let's round shot this baby. Artillery, go away. 
I always need to get better at making sure I get the appropriate units in to this fight, because I never do. So they might send their cavalry to go deal with ours, but I think this is a good trade. An almost dead unit of Dragoons versus... Doing lots of damage to a Gurkha unit before it gets in the campaign map. Because we have many armies in reinforcement that can just... The most useful thing they can do is... Well, they can, they can leapfrog us. That's the big gain they provide. Okay, good. You go away. Our foot artillery's gone away. Kill as many as you can. Not that they've... I've killed one. Foot artillery, go away. There's a rather general stuff. There he is. Go for the swordsman. You go for the hidden musketeers. Push this general back. So we're being very aggressive of what units we do or don't want. Like you guys. Back you go. Some native infantry, that's more of the thing we're interested in. Push the artillery back, get the native infantry in. Have a go at the dervishes, maybe. Let's retarget my howitzers to hit and reinforce some troops. Take up positions on this flank. Oh, look at that. Sliced and diced. For the loss of... We had 85 when they did the charge. So for the loss of one man, they just destroyed... Two men. They just destroyed the Dervish's unit. Awesome. You, my friend, are about to get shot to hell. Send a cavalry unit around for a bit of a flank against the Indian troops coming in. Yeah, there we go. Peasantry, Sikh musketeers. The Hindu musketeers are the last main force. The rest of them are armed peasantry or citizenry or other second tier troops. Yes, they can see what's happening. Oh, excellent shot. You would be a lovely shot as well. So where's the cavalry gone? Because it is here. There it is, Pindari Horsemen. It said light cavalry, skirmish cavalry. So we're going to lose... We're going to lose some cavalry in the, me in the merge. Because they're just going to get shot. Simple as... But apart from that... Let's run it in. We superior Western artillery. Kicking in. I want to walk them in, because they are winded. Quick climb is going to break him pretty effectively. So it's a bit of a mess at the start because it had a big. Frankly, I I was too. I didn't want to sit behind and get shot to hell by their line of artillery, their big line of guns. 
So it pushed up too aggressively and that allowed them with their melee infantry to too easily counter me. And they are moving, but I still want to walk my cavalry because they're winded. Some of my infantry can engage here, but you probably need to be up here. Now my other cavalry this way too. My general could be responsible for muffing up. Kill, kill the artillery teams, they're always a good one to kill. Oh, I think they've, I think they've twigged. Come on lads, only five of them. The rest of the field, the rest of their army is broken on the field, so... Get one general around that way. Let's get a general around this way. Pindari bandits are not going to last. There we go. Not so bothered about destroying these guys. Weak units of cavalry are handy to have on the enemies in the enemy's army because they don't achieve anything. Kill them right now because immediately we've cut the number in half based on based on units that are just nearby. Good, let's gallop get our generals into a gallop. You go after the armed peasantry. You go after the great gun, then apart from that, head in this direction. So they chase after the Islamic swordsmen, you go after the Hindu musketeers, and let's retarget all of my artillery onto this single unit of peasantry. Good, they are going to go around the cavalry spike in time. Awesome stuff. Great gun. This is an irritating one. I don't know quite what... Okay, they are actually fighting each other. Good. Good lads. Cut them up. Could absolutely continue. But let's turn off all my artillery. And let's make sure all my cavalry are continuously engaged. Good. Killed the gunner. Go after the Hindu musketeers. Could try to go after them, but... Killing as many as you can is nice, but, you know, never underestimate simplicity and enjoyment in what you do. No, they might escape. Kill him! Ooh. Can't tell if they got him or not. General's going to escape. Those guys have escaped, so let's bring everyone over here. They're all going to go after this one unit of swordsmen. Awesome stuff. There we 
There we go. Decisive victory. Damn right. Bit dodgy at the start, but... But yes, this is the sort of thing we need to do. We need to beat them on the battlefield in order to beat them in the campaign. So let's push them back. And this stack in the north has also pretty fallen back to one of these buildings. So you require... You're a decent unit of infantry, but it'll take you a while to, to march up. You're a very boring army, and you're a weaker army than I would like. So you can lead, take the head of the column now. Because there is still you, but you're just a fragment. Clarence will probably take care of you in due course. Ah, this army's landed on the shores. He's going to wait for Gifford of Bloodknock to move up to this hill. Supported by Nathaniel Winthrop. Good, he's actually in good nick. So I could march straight on to the capital with this guy, Tobin Davis. I wish if I did that, I might entice him into battle. So if I do just this it might force him to engage me Ready and awaiting you are going to go and mm, you could hit Ahmedabad but hold on to it for now what matters is good god Bennett Clavering's got absolute pasting and then let's get a decent unit of infantry good Although I suspect this infantry unit I've just recruited is going to go up here. But let's let them try. It's reinforcements in Calcutta. You don't need replenishing, it's the other guy. Yes, oh, sir. this is just infantry, isn't it? I remember now. We've also taken Katak. Building, we're building walls here as well. And then we are going to end up pushing east. Sorry. Everyone else has just landed, so I'm going to... Syringa Patna, you've been destroyed. Good. Let's hit enter and see what the Marathas... Be very careful who they engage near Satara. Yeah. All their stack, all their weak stacks are falling back. Ooh, they are engaging us in a weak... in a, in a proper army, but... Why is it so against us? We outnumber them by... Yeah, we completely outnumber them by... What's that? 9,500 men versus 7,000 men? And they've got lots of cavalry, some melee infantry, but lots of weak cavalry, weak infantry, and we've just got buckets and buckets and buckets of men. Um, looking at the timer, uh, I'm probably going to leave that to the next part because otherwise we'll massively overrun and you might get into uh, battle fatigue. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next episode of my US campaign. Cheers, guys.